Welcome to another episode of Just Food, where we make some of your favorite meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert with just food. No additives, no artificial sweeteners, no blotty, blotty, blah, blah, blah bullcrap. Just the good stuff. We make it with just food, and I know we're just kicking off summer, but I'm already thinking about Thanksgiving. You know what I'm talking about. Everyone's favorite part of Thanksgiving is the mashed potatoes. I don't know what it is. I literally woke up one day and was like, I'm craving mashed potatoes today. But you know what? They have that connotation of, you know, being really buttery and fluffy and milky and so, so dreamy. Obviously not the healthiest part of Thanksgiving, but there's a way that it can be. And today we're going to be making cauliflower mash, I promise. It's going to be just as good, so let's get started. The best part about this is it's so easy. All you're going to need for this recipe is one head of cauliflower, two-thirds cup of an onion chopped and diced, two cloves of garlic chopped, and salt and pepper to taste. Boom. That's it. And go out and get a masher because that's definitely going to be something you're going to need for this recipe. So what you're going to do first is boil a pot of water for about 10 to 15 minutes and throw this head of cauliflower in there because you want it to be soft. So 10 to 15 minutes, I would suggest breaking this apart first. Don't try putting the head all in there. That's what she said. Okay, so now that I realize you should never pull apart cauliflower and uh, this thing is ready to boil, we're gonna let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, like I said, and while we're waiting, we're gonna saute some onions and some garlic. You know what they say about onions. <laughs> They're not lying. <coughs> oh, my sinuses. All right, now that the onions are chopped, you wanna make sure you have two thirds cup and you wanna throw that right into the saucepan along with two cloves of diced garlic. Just throw some olive oil on a saucepan and saute those babies up. So since it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for the cauliflower to soften in boiling water and about five to 10 minutes to saute the onions and garlic, if you can time things out perfectly for them to be finished at the same exact time, that's awesome. And that's what we're working with right now. So we're gonna put the cauliflower into a strainer, drain the water out, and put that into a bowl, mash it up with our masher, and throw the sauteed onions and garlic in there. Holy crap, this is a stinking workout. So after about like 10 years of mashing, seriously, look at this, check out those muscles. That's muscles of an ox right there. And after adding salt and pepper to taste, I even threw in some blue cheese crumbles just to give it that little extra zest. You should come up with some mashed potatoes looking like this. Honestly, what it kind of looks like to me are hash browns, like the shredded things that they give you for breakfast, and even at that, I'm not complaining. If you're not a fan of blue cheese or gorgonzola cheese or cheese at all, then you don't have to put it in there. I just added it because why not? <laughs> blue cheese. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's give it a try. Here goes nothing. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. Okay. Bite number two happened and I'm sure now. That's really good. That's really good. First bite I got a full wad of blue cheese and I was like, whoa. But no. Wow. I feel the lightness of this too. Like I, I know that after eating, well, I know that after eating a big bowl of regular mashed potatoes, I feel full, I feel heavy, but this feels light. I could finish this all and be a really happy camper, but I'm not. Maybe. Wow. Okay. I gotta stop. Again, thank you guys for watching another episode of Just Food, where we make your favorite meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert, low calories, no artificial flavorings, just food. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Send us some of your recipes if you would like me to try and make them. You can send it to catcountry1073.com or our Facebook page, Cat Country Mornings with Joe and Rachel. I'd love to try out your healthy alternatives for some of your favorite foods. But until next week, uh, I'll stick with Thanksgiving instead of summer. <laughs>